calls from my father to tell me that the New York Times is calling. Hey, pal, it's Dad. It's 8.15 um, on uh, Wednesday night. If you get a chance, give me a call. Not, nothing urgent. Just want to talk to you. I thought the article, at least the thing on online, that's going to be printed tomorrow in the Times, was good. I think it's clear. And uh, anyway, um, if you get a chance, give me a call. I love you. But my old partner, Eric, who literally has done me harm for I don't know how long, is the one taking the calls because my father will not stop sending the calls to Eric. This is a detail of most, if not all, of the 27 meetings that Eric Schwerin, who was Hunter Biden's business partner, had at the White House uh, between 2008 and uh, 2016. Eight of those meetings were in the year 2016 uh, alone. And there you see one of them, 229, 2016. Steve Reschetti, who is the president's uh, then uh, chief of staff, is now his counsel. Hunter's business partner, Eric Schwerin, also attended 21 out of the 30 of those listed meetings with the then VP. I have another New York Times reporter calling about my representation of the, literally, Dr. Patrick Coe, the spy chief of China, who started the company that my partner, who was worth $323 billion, found it, and is now missing. The richest man in the world is missing, who was my partner. He was missing since I last saw him in his $58 million apartment and signed a $4 billion deal to be build the largest LNG port in the world. In one instance, a guy that helped Hunter secure a $20 million deal, at the same time he was helping Hunter Biden, he was business partners with the vice minister of state security in China. That's their spy apparatus. And his responsibilities at the spy agent was recruiting foreign nationals to spy for China. So this is not just corruption. This is very serious national security stuff we're talking about. And... I am receiving calls from the Southern District of New York, from the U.S. Attorney himself. My best friend in business, Devin, has named me as a witness without telling me. In a criminal case, and my father, without telling me. I just want to pause and just let that sink in a little bit. Devin Archer is now a convicted felon. He got a meeting in the White House with the Vice President of the United States. That's kind of a big deal. And I, I'd also like to point out that Southern District, uh, he mentions that they, that they were uh, uh, listed as witnesses. Hunter and Joe Biden listed as witnesses from Devin Archer in a Southern District of New York court case. That's the exact same one I, uh, I just referenced. If I could read this, this was from the U.S. attorney. He said, quote, these defendants orchestrated a highly complex scheme to defraud a Native American community and multiple mm. pension funds all to corruptly bankroll their own personal and business interests. That says it all right there, and it pretty much shows everything that they were involved in with. That seems to be the M.O. for all of this. Six days after Devin Archer joined the board of Burisma, a day after Vice President Biden visited Ukraine, which was five days after he met with Devin Archer in the White House, British officials seized $23 million dollars from the corrupt owner of Burisma. On May 13th, 2014, three weeks later, Hunter Biden joined the board of Burisma. What a coincidence. A Senate investigation discovered Burisma sent two wires worth more than $112,000 to Rosemont Senecare Baha'i, a shell entity run by Hunter Biden's business associate, Devin Archer. We also now know that Hunter was involved with Elena Baterina, the corrupt and now sanctioned wife of the former mayor of Moscow during the exact same period of time. On February 14th, 2014, Baterina wired $3.5 million to Rosemont Seneca Thornton, an investment firm co-founded by Hunter Biden. On April 13th, 2014, Nine days before Devin Archer joined the board of Burisma, Hunter Biden and Devin Archer discussed a potential deal involving Baterina. Archer wrote the Baterina, quote, confirmed green light to fund deposit, unquote. Archer continued, quote, 
Just spent two hours on the phone with Kiev. I am confident at this point, this is a good, if not life-changing deal, if the Ukraine doesn't collapse in the meantime. It sure looks like they intended to cash in on the turmoil in Ukraine.